I would like to talk about the word accord. I found the definition in the dictionary for accord is two or more definitions. The first one is a verb. The first one says give or grant someone power, status, or recognition. The powers accorded to the head of the state. Give, grant, tender, present, award, hand, vouchsafe. And another one of a concept or fact be harmonious or consistent with his views accorded well with those of Maryvale. Correspond, agree, tally, match up, concur, con coincide. And another one is a noun, an official agreement or treaty. Opposition groups refuse to sign the accord. Similar, pact, treaty, agreement, settlement, deal, intente. And I found some Bible references that I found in the concordance on the word accord. Let's go to Joshua chapter 9 and verse 2. It says that they gathered together to fight with Joshua and Israel with one accord. And now let's go to Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 9. For then I will restore to the peoples a pure language, that they all may call on the name of the Lord to serve him with one accord. Let's go to Acts chapter 1 verse 14. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. Let's go on to chapter 2 and verse 46. So continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 6.15 <clears throat> And what accord has Christ with Bial? Or what part has a believer with an unbeliever? The word Bial, which is also another name for devil, who is our arch enemy. We don't want to be associated with the devil or Satan. Satan is our arch enemy. We need our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is more powerful than Satan. Amen? And also, and in conclusion, let's go to Philippians chapter 2 and verse 2. Fulfill my joy by being like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Yes, we want to be in one accord with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and to our brothers and sisters of our faith so we can agree and to be together whether we're, wherever we go, whether near or far away. And of course, we'll always have God the Father, His Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit to always be with us as we, in one accord with them, and to pray and to honor them in spirit and in truth, and to worship them in spirit and in truth as well. Hope this video is a wonderful blessing for your souls. And if you like it, you can give it a thumbs up, and also to let them know that they're welcome on subscribing to my YouTube channel by clicking on subscribe and click on that bell icon that there'll be more videos and presentations so you can be uplifted and be encouraged to draw closer to our Lord and Savior. May God richly bless you.